with a, a company that is using Autodesk software. And this is Alexander Shai nice of you. Vantage Power. That's Welcome right. to EcoSummit. Thank you. Uh, nice to see you all today. Good morning. Uh, has anybody taken the bus here this morning? Did anybody get a bus on their journey today? A couple of people. Okay, well, you are on one of 46,300 public service buses in the UK, which doesn't really sound that many when you consider there are millions upon millions of cars and trucks. But if you were to line those buses up nose to tail, they would circumnavigate London three times. So that's the M25, it's 117 miles long. You've got nearly 400 miles of heavy metal, which is being shunted around 24 hours a day in this, public's, in this country's public service infrastructure. It's a huge quantity. And of course, the problem with moving all these buses is the amount of fuel that they use. That's over one billion liters of diesel last year. And as we heard earlier, uh, diesel is now a massive contributor to our overall tailpipe emissions, nitrous oxides, which in the UK alone is worth 29,000 premature deaths or responsible for 29,000 premature deaths per year, which is really quite shocking. And you have the other effect of carbon monoxide and particulate matter, which is all really nasty stuff. And you have the additional effects of noise, lower quality of life, lower air quality, which really detracts from people's enjoyment. And of course, the EU has now got involved and they've said we're going to fine the UK and London 300 million pounds per year for failing their air quality standards. So what we have in summary is a lot of buses, this is what we've chosen to look at, and a huge impetus from government and from operators to reduce their fuel consumption and emissions. And the good news is that there are solutions out there. Some of those buses that you may have taken this morning or will take later today are already hybrid. If you are a bus operator, you can go out and buy a hybrid bus today, and here is a selection of a few of them. But the problem is they are incredibly expensive. And when government subsidy finished a few years ago to help operators buying these buses, operators stopped buying them. But you have an interesting situation in that over the last 10 years, because of the government subsidies, the operators have become familiar with this kind of technology. And they recognize that this is the technology for them. It's going to be here for at least the next 15 to 20 years before electric uh, technology can come through in its fullest sense. But again, it's too expensive. So what did we do? We came up with a solution to retrofit existing buses. It's a completely self-contained hybrid system that is designed to fit into the two most common double-decker buses. That's our initial target market. And double-decker buses account for over half of all the buses on the UK roads. This is a CAD model of our first prototype that we developed over the course of 2013. And here is the picture of it actually in service. And this is a bus now that is proving our initial goal of reducing fuel economy or improving fuel economy by 40%. So we are saving the equivalent of 20,000 pounds per year per bus. Uh, given that some operators out there are running eight or 9,000 of these vehicles, the savings that they can achieve by retrofitting their existing buses rather than having to buy expensive new buses is massive. So 33 liters per 100 kilometers versus 56 liters per 100 kilometers as a saving. And to put that into perspective, that allows you to retrofit four, sometimes three if you're unlucky, buses for the price of one new hybrid bus. So operators can hybridize their fleet much faster. Now I was told to talk a little bit about the software that we've used. So you can clearly see that was a CAD render of our system and we are a clean tech partner um, recipient, which has been absolutely phenomenal as a small company, which could not afford that amount of software. And of course, there is the normal design elements that allow you to essentially put together the pieces of your product. And that's one of the big challenges in our product is the packaging, how to package all these components into such a small space and analyze it from a thermal point of view, from a mechanical point of view, from a lifetime point of view. It's all been incredibly useful for us. And focusing in, I don't have a laser on this, but focusing in on one of these components is the battery pack. I'd like to talk a little bit more about that because that is the enabler of in hybrid technology, especially within buses. And that's this large 
box here on the top left-hand side. Now, if you consider that this is a battery pack which needs to be very well cooled for lifetime purposes and safety purposes, but it's in an engine bay right next to an engine, you have a lot of thermal issues to worry about. And this is where you have things like CFD analysis, which you can get as part of your um, program, your software package, to really analyze exactly what your software is doing. I skipped over a couple of slides there earlier as to the kind of um, things you can design. This is part of the battery pack or a test module for our battery pack. And I'm glad um, Carsten mentioned uh, 3D printing earlier because we recently invested in a 3D printer. And what you can do is design something in Autodesk or another CAD software and literally press print and within a few hours have something that you can use. An example for us is this battery block down there on the bottom right whereby we need to weld these battery cells in a certain orientation and we can produce a welding jig for that in a very short space of time with the software. So that's a very quick overview of, of my company and what we've done to date. I'd be happy to answer any questions. How old are you? 26. Wow, and you founded this company when? 2011. Okay. One of the young entrepreneurs in London, I think you're a little bit famous for it, right? <laughs> 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 and then, and then how are you financed up to now? Uh, so we've got about just under a million from government grants yeah. and uh, 1.2 million from equity. Okay. Yeah. Are you raising more money yes. in the future? Yes, we're just about to start around now. And um, ultimately, you want to conquer the whole of, or uh, deliver to the whole of the UK, and do you, can you even go outside of the UK with your solution? We can go outside the UK. The plan for the moment is to establish ourselves in the retrofit market, because that is the most accessible market for a startup or yeah. relatively young company like ours. We've partnered with the UK's largest bus dealer, so we have a very well-entrenched route to market mm. through that. But ultimately, we want to target new bus manufacturers around the world, that's not something we can do at this stage of our development, but it will be something that we're planning in the next four to four, three to four years. Great. Do you have a question? Ume? Are there already buses driving around? Yes, there's one about five or six miles from here, actually, which is going to be driving through London later on today as part of its test program. So that's the first, one. That's the first prototype. The second one is on its way at the moment. So, so how, how, are you, how are you going to sell it? So directly this is the cost for, for retrofitting, or is it, are you... That's a, that's a very good point. So if we were to take our system and sell it to a bus operator, you're looking at around a cost of around about £70,000. £20,000 a year fuel saving, three and a half year payback period, which for some operators is fine. That's acceptable. For other operators, that payback period is a little bit too long. What we want to do is just ignore the whole concept of payback period and offer it with a finance package. And we've been in discussions with banks and finance houses that will offer this service for our product. And there you get to the point where you're saying, I'm going to pay £1,000 a month to have this system in the back of my bus, but I'm saving 1600 in fuel. So from day one, the immediate impact that we were talking about earlier, that's apparent with this kind of product. It's a no-brainer. It is a no-brainer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Super. Thank you very much.